So what's up ladies and gents, I'm here in Lima, Peru, just outside of the old historic center, getting ready for my photography workshop here in Peru. That's a 14 day trip. I just picked up my final passenger, um, so the, everybody's here now and I'm ready and raring to go on this workshop. It's a 14 day workshop. Uh, starting here in Lima, then tomorrow we're off to Huacachina, then Nazca, the Colca Canyon in Arequipa, uh, Lake Titicaca, Cusco, and Machu Picchu, of course. So it's going to be an awesome trip, a lot of really cool photos, and from what I gather of meeting the passengers that mostly have started arriving starting two days ago, also some people arrived yesterday and some people this morning, it's an awesome group. They're a mix of beginners, true beginners and enthusiasts, and some people that are um, of quite a high skill level. So it's a nice mix of people, and they all seem like really cool people. Um, what else? Rather than doing a traditional style video like I do on this channel, I'm going to just give you a day-by-day -day, um, of this workshop. So basically at the start of every day or at some point in the day, I'll give you a rundown of what we're up to that day, and then I'm going to pump out some video clips and some photos from the tour and hopefully it works out that way. That way you get a bit of an insight into what a photography workshop and a photography tour looks like here with me in Peru. Of course, as you know, I've got another workshop that runs here in Peru and Bolivia in July. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check out the info on that trip because it's going to be awesome. But yeah, let's get this pho photography workshop rolling here in, in Peru. Um, we're just going to take it easy today, maybe go down to Miraflores and, and have some late afternoon dinner, but it's really just an arrival day, it's a getting to know everybody day, and then we'll get into the photography, we'll get into the exploration, we'll get into the adventure next. So let's do it. So this is day two of our trip and we've just made the journey to Huacachina, which is about four and a half, five hours away from Lima and in the middle of these amazing sand dunes. So we've just had a classroom session talking to the participants about how to get out of auto and things like that. And now we're gonna go up into the sand dunes, maybe do some dune bugging, definitely do some dune bugging and doing some sunset photography up there above the oasis, so let's go. So it's day four now here on this photography workshop and we're in Nazca now. We're doing flights of Nazca today and then we're visiting an open cemetery uh, called the Chochilla Cemetery just outside of Nazca. And so let's go enjoy our day, let's go have some fun and then we're on an overnight bus to Arequipa, so let's go.
So it's already day five of this photography workshop and time is just flying. We've just arrived off the overnight bus from, um, from Nazca here in Arequipa at the beautiful Casa de Mi Abuela Hotel. And today we've got a couple things planned, a little bit of architectural photography. We're going to the Santa Catalina Monastery and then we're off to, uh, to see the plaza at sunset and into the blue hour. And then the following morning on day six, we're headed into the Colca Canyon and starting our Colca Canyon adventure. So it should be a good time. So it's day eight on this photography workshop and tour in uh, in Peru, and we're exploring beautiful Lake Titicaca. On the docket, we're going to be visiting Tequile Island and uh, doing a homestay on a Montani Island, and then also visiting the Reed Islands, the Uros Islands. So it's going to be awesome. I love Lake Titicaca. It's an absolutely stunning place, as you can see behind me. And so yeah, let's go explore it.
So it's day 10 here on this photography workshop and we're in Cusco and I'm stoked to be here. Cusco is a place I used to spend a ton of time in and we've got a free day on day 11 here before heading into the Sacred Valley to Machu Picchu. Let's explore. So it's day 12 of the photography tour now and we're in the Sacred Valley. So on the docket is the Pisac Ruins, Ollante Tambo, and then we're on the train to Machu Picchu. So let's do it. Day 13, Machu freaking Pichu. So that's a wrap on the photography tour and workshop. It was a whirlwind of a tour, 14 days, um, like something like 10 different destinations. So we were all over the place, but it was absolutely awesome. It was a good time. It really was. And the participants were absolutely fantastic. Um, I think like any tour or any workshop in a place like Peru or maybe even anywhere in the world, there were of course hardships. There were of course some uh, ups and downs. And there were things that didn't go right. For example, on the Ballestas Islands day when we were supposed to go see the wildlife, um, there was really high water and high waves and those got canceled. But we did find other things to do in Wakachina to get around it. We also had to fight through a roadblock and uh, a strike along the rail lines on our way back from Machu Picchu, which was interesting. But again, that's all part of the adventure. That's part of the fun of travel is getting around these obstacles and turning it into an adventure rather than a problem. Um, the participants, as I mentioned, were absolutely fantastic. We had a range of people from absolute beginners still learning how to use their camera all the way to some serious pros with serious pro gear. And we had hobbyists even shooting point and shoots and, and you know, smaller pocket size cameras. So it was a nice range. It was a diverse group of people. We had people from ages, uh, 
24, 25, all the way up until their 70s. So it was a nice range of people, which makes it easier. Um, I think the really cool thing about the trip and the really amazing thing about the workshop was that everybody learned something. The beginners, um, by the end of the trip, weren't beginners anymore. They were all shooting really comfortably. Um, and the pros, the guys that were really good at shooting something, tended to have kind of a niche that they were good at, such as wildlife photography or, or something like that. And by the end of the trip, I was able to kind of guide them through how to shoot other styles of photography as well. Because as you know, travel photography isn't about just shooting landscapes or architecture or wildlife or anything, but it's everything. It's, it's every single day is different. Every single, single day you're shooting a different style of photography. So it was nice to see the growth in the participants. And to be honest, I pretty much grew myself as well. I think there's no way you can't. When you're surrounded by photographers, you're gonna learn something. For me, it was learning Nikon gear. I shoot Canon and mostly Canon. I shot a lot of Sony as well. Um, so getting my hands on a lot of Nikon gear and learning the like where the certain buttons are and the little, um, what the dials do and things like that uh, was a bit of a learning curve for me, but I picked it up really quick and actually think I was able to help some of the Nikon users in finding these things as well. So it was fun to shoot some Nikon cameras and, and get my hands on Nikons as well. So of course, even the instructor learned something on a photography tour like this. Um, yeah, it, it was 14 days and to be honest, I am exhausted. I'm wiped out. Uh, it was a lot of work, not only just traveling, but planning, marketing, organizing, um, you know, the daily day-to-day -day activities, it's tiring running these workshops, but it is so rewarding and I cannot wait for my next one, which is actually in July. And we're running a similar tour to this one. It's going to be an adventure mid-range budget trip in Bolivia starting July 13th. And it's going to do Peru starting in Peru. So we're going to do Machu Picchu, Cusco, Sacred Valley, Lake Titicaca before hitting up Bolivia. In Bolivia, we're going to do La Paz, Potosi, Sucre, um, the Uni Salt Flats, which are absolutely mind-blowingly stunning and quite underrated even. And then back to La Paz. So that's a 14-day trip. If you want to join me on that trip, there's still space available. So uh, there'll be a sign-up sign up box around me at some point. As for the next big adventure in another destination, I'm going to be announcing that at the end of May. So at the end of May, we're going to have a big announcement and it's going to be a different destination, non-South America, and it's going to be awesome. I promise you that one's going to be a fun, fun trip. Hint, it's not in South America, North America, Europe, Asia, or Oceania. So there's your hint. It's going to be in Africa and it's going to be a fun one. So be sure to stay subscribed to the channel uh, to stay up to date on that one. Um, I hope you liked this video. I know it was different. I, I didn't do a lot of talking. There probably wasn't even a lot of filming done. I was just so, so busy on this workshop. But it was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed the program. Uh, stick around to the show. I'm going to be uh, doing a bit of a breakdown on the tour at some point, maybe showing some of my favorite images from the workshop. I also have image, uh, images. I also have a video from Wakachina still to come in Peru. And personally, um, there's been some changes in my life. There's been some changes in my life that happened yesterday. And I'm going to have a behind the lens video talking about that in, in coming days. And then I'm off to Bolivia, hopefully into the jungle of Bolivia to find some jaguars. That's a goal of mine for the coming month before the next big workshop. Anyways, I'm talking for too long. Um, probably making up for the lack of talking in the first part of this video for you. But I'll be around, so stay subscribed to the channel, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.